RandallBackMe.com, how you doing? Thanks for coming to our first show from CES. Hi, is Akhtar, Eric Sandine, as always, the crew uh, on the show floor of CES this year. We actually have a booth, which is pretty cool. Now, this morning we heard some stuff from LG. It's uh, interesting times for them. Not a lot of big announcements here. More of uh, stuff you probably expect from the company, like cell phones, some Blu-ray players, among other things. Eric, what's some of your highlights for the uh, the event this morning? I know that there aren't a, a ton, but kind well, of break it down for us. I mean, one thing that is interesting is that in uh, in all the uh, uh, TVs larger than 32 inches, at least most of them, they're going to be putting media streaming, DivX, and a bunch of their other services that they have in their real high-end models uh, back into the anything bigger than a 32 inch. Cool. So it's trickling so. down from. I mean, they're they've been really good at doing things like. Netflix and their Blu-ray players, they're the first right. company to do that. So it's sort of that like connected TV is starting right. to trickle down. Yeah. Cool. So it'll be a little bit cheaper than buying say. a super high-end TV. Definitely. Other stuff that's cool eyes, I mean, any highlights for you? Well, there's a nerdy thing that they have thin clients that are supposed to be really easy. So if you have one computer and you're checking out the software, you can actually have other computers using the resources of that server. So you don't spend a lot of money to have a lot of different computers. Now, you can buy a lot of netbooks and things, but why bother doing that if you can actually use? How much of these thin clients do you know offhand? I don't know. They they haven't they haven't they set a price on it. So uh, other stuff that was kind of a highlight. Uh, Voodoo they've had this integration for a while, uh, but they are talking. Voodoo is a set top box manufacturer. If you're not familiar, they do things like uh, you can watch. It's sort of like boxy, you know, movie streaming things like but that. Very high quality. Really high HD quality. X. Yeah. So that's built into some of their TVs. Also, the highlight for me, the true highlight, a 15 inch OLED display. Now OLED is the new thin hotness, that's what I call it. It's the, the trademark term from Randall Bennett. <laughs> right. uh, but essentially, these, uh, it's a 15 inch display. I think it's about six millimeters thick. Yeah. So extremely thin, still pricey, but uh, they, they showed it off, they said it's gonna be available soon. But that's, but 15 inches is as big as they get right now. Because right Sony now. had an 11 inch one last year and that was a big deal. For a production model, yeah. Right, yeah. and so this is not coming out till what, 2012? The, no, the, this, this, this one should, this be, on should be on this, this year. Yeah, but sure. 2012 is sort of the, that's when I expect sort of OLEDs to move from the 15 inch, this is a 13 inch, so you can imagine it's just a little bit bigger than this. At what uh, price though? It's like a couple yeah, thousand exactly. dollars. It's gonna be a couple grand so for if 15 inches. If you're an early adopter or totally loaded or are a rapper, I think you guys love it. it real? I can yeah. wear it with the 15 inch. You can wear it on your neck. <laughs> that's yeah, how exactly. awesome this is, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna. Yeah. So yeah. LG press conference in a nutshell. Some interesting stuff. Not a ton of huge things. Nothing great. But we're looking forward to the more press conferences. We have Samsung coming up in about an hour and a half, so we'll be back on TechBee with that. Uh, we also have a, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we went to a couple shows yesterday. Got a lot more on the site, so you want to check out that as well. Randall Bennett, Eric Sandine, I is Akhtar. See you later.